HMS Magpie is a survey ship of the Royal Navy, intended for use on inshore and coastal survey work. It is the newest design addition to the Royal Navy's Hydrographic Squadron and features a marked change in hull and cabin design from its predecessors. The vessel was commissioned on the 28th of June 2018 and replaced HMS Gleaner. Effectively, the smaller Gleaner was a similar size to regular pilot boats used in the main shipping port channels of the UK and Ireland. HMS Magpie was named in recognition of the Duke of Edinburgh's command of her namesake 1950-52, the only vessel commanded by the Duke during his naval career. That ship was HMS Magpie, a modified Black Swan class sloop 1941-1959, which originally carried out convoy escort movements in World War II. Shortly before his passing, the Duke personally endorsed this latest HMS Magpie's motto, Lux in Tenebris Lucet, Shine Light into Darkness. This Latin phrase is found in the Bible, the Book of John, Chapter 1, Verse 5. Magpie has a ship's company of nine personnel, and due to her size can be operated at greater range and in more adverse conditions than predecessor Gleaner. Her core role is to conduct military data gathering in support of the Defence Hydrographic Programme, but will also play a key role in development of future capability by testing a range of off-board, remote and autonomous systems. Magpie is designed for operating unmanned underwater vehicles, or UUVs. Via Project Hecla, the Royal Navy, like other Western navies, is changing its military data gathering model or MDG, as a result of constantly improving technologies. This will increase the use of UUVs in hydrographic survey and seabed surveillance. Magpie will likely be involved in these improvement trials and the development and deployment of new technologies. To conduct her role, Magpie has an advanced sensor suite, including a EM2040 high-resolution multi-beam echo sounder and side-scan sonar. The multi-beam echo sounder, manufactured by Kongsberg Marine, transmits a fan-shaped ping of high-frequency sound waves directly beneath the vessel. The basic system has four units. The transmit transducer, the receive transducer, a processing unit, a hydrographic workstation manned by a Royal Navy operator. The system uses real-time software to run the hydrographic echo sounder in its task to scan the water and seabed, and then post-processing software where the data collected can be analysed by interface users at their workstations. Magpie operates a towed side-scan sonar, which helps in mapping wrecks and other objects in deeper waters. In 2021, Magpie, commanded by Lieutenant Commander Mark White, was a test platform for a new type of high-speed analysis radar software using a temporary navigational radar racked to the comms mast. Known as radar bathymetry and developed by scientists from the National Oceanography Centre in Liverpool, led by Paul Bell and MOD experts from Defence Science and Technology Laboratory. The purpose is high-speed mapping in critical event and time-constrained circumstances using existing radar exploited by new software. What mapping Magpie Sonar could ordinarily perform in two weeks off Plymouth's naval base approaches was achieved in just hours with the new software, and one byproduct was an accurate composite map of the area's coastline. Magpie was procured under Project Vahana, a program to replace various Royal Navy vessels under 20 metres in length. The boats are known as the Sea Class, and Magpie at 18 metres in length is the largest and only commissioned vessel in the series. The main structure of the vessel was constructed by Safe Haven Marine, 
a boat building company based in Cork, Ireland, who also manufacture specialist craft for other navies. The type selected for this inshore survey vessel was based on Safe Haven's successful Wildcat 60 catamaran design, the largest available at 18 metres in length and with a displacement of 37 tonnes. Magpie was built to accommodate a crew of 12 for up to 7 days, with the capability of operating in all weathers. Following completion and initial trials by Safe Haven Marine, Magpie was subsequently delivered to Atlas Electronic UK for installation of its mission equipment. In April 2018, Magpie underwent further trials with its mission equipment installed before final delivery of the vessel to the Royal Navy in May 2018 for commissioning in early summer. Using the cork-based Safe Haven Wildcat 60 design images, we can see how the vessel is typically laid out internally for operations. The post-fit of mission equipment by Atlas Electronic UK is not featured in these images. Two sleeping cabins, one in the lower port hull and one in the starboard hull, each fitted with bunk berths and each cabin with its own separate heads compartment. Stairs on each side of the main cabin take crew to sleeping cabins in each hull. These cabins have capacity for two officers and seven crew. Magpie currently sails with a total complement of nine. A full galley is positioned in the forward port hull and is equipped for extended sea operations, fitted with a large capacity fridge freezer, dishwasher, 240 volt hob and microwave, large worktop areas and storage. A third large heads and shower compartment is positioned in the starboard forward cabin and here is incorporated multiple storage lockers and a washing machine dryer. Long duration voyages are made possible by the 800 litre fresh water capacity. A 600 litre black water tank is also fitted. The main cabin is a twin deck arrangement with a raised steering and navigation position. Seating is provided for a helmsman and navigator, both on shock mitigation suspension seating, with two additional bench seats either side. The raised position allows excellent all-round visibility and control of the vessel. The suite of navigation equipment, including radar, colour displays, GPS, sonar, radio, autopilot, etc. are post-fitted by Atlas Electronic UK, mounted in a helm console configuration. The main cabin incorporates two areas. The forward area houses the main hydrographic work area, incorporating a U-shaped worktop with computer racking below, space for multiple computer screens, and is fitted with three fixed seats. A dinette area with settee and table is positioned opposite. The aft area houses an additional survey work area with work table, twin fixed seats and computer racking. A settee area with table is positioned here as well. A server room is positioned in this area and is fully air conditioned by a 16,000 BTU aircon unit. A 2 meter high rack server is incorporated in the server room. The overall design of the accommodation allows up to 12 crew to operate from the vessel in comfort. Under the command of Lieutenant Commander Will Alexander, one of Magpie's first major taskings was a continuation of work done by her predecessor Gleaner. This was the surveying of Portsmouth Harbour for seabed changes to ensure its stability, in anticipation of Portsmouth's use by the aircraft carriers Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales. Portsmouth Harbour is one of the busiest in Britain, seeing more than 230,000 vessels arrive and depart throughout the year. In May 2019, approximately 3.5 million cubic metres of clay, sand and gravel had already been excavated as part of the improvements to the harbour, costing £100 million. On completion of the seabed survey at Portsmouth Harbour, Magpie had the opportunity to survey the wreck site of the Mary Rose, Henry VIII's flagship, 
and the wreck of a contemporary French warship to search for anything of significance that would assist in historical analysis of the Battle of the Solent. Under the command of Lieutenant Commander Howell Morgan in 2022, this vessel carried out a three-month seabed survey around the port of Tyne. Magpie later spent a summer month in Aberdeen carrying out similar work, including surveying the new South Harbour, the largest marine infrastructure project underway in the UK at the time. HMS Magpie's 2022 deployment was the most extensive since commissioning and included prolonged operations in the northeast of England and both east and west coasts of Scotland, with a return to Devonport, home of the Navy's surveying and hydrographic flotilla, in November, after nine months deployed. Displacement, 37 tonnes. Length, 18 metres. Beam, 6.2 metres. Draft, 1.4 metres. Speed, 23 knots. Propulsion, two Yanmar 6AYEM diesel engines, which drive Hamilton HM521 water jets, removing the need for propellers and rudder, with a steering nozzle for full vessel rotation and confined space docking. Split duct deflector fittings on the water jets produce a thrust for a stern and sideways travel. HMS Magpie is fitted with the 24-inch Furuno NXT Radome solid-state Doppler radar. A high-resolution color-coded warning screen-based system allows the tracking of up to 100 moving and stationary targets, as well as monitoring of weather and wildlife proximity. The vessel is equipped with the Palfinger Marine PK series foldable knuckle boom crane on the stern deck starboard corner. This is for the deployment and retrieval of equipment, like UUVs, at sea and is covered when not in use. Magpie appears to be a cost-effective, developmental timeline intermediary platform in the Royal Navy's Mine Countermeasures and Hydrographic Capability, or MHC which began in 2014. The vessel's size, performance, seven-day mission window and technically intense setup allow it to perform coastal surveying and detection operations, as well as AUV program development closer to shore, leaving Royal Navy survey ships to carry out larger scale deep water operations at sea. Whilst ship designs, tech and tactical relevance are certainly changing at an accelerating pace, Magpie's size and flexibility may be key to a longer service life in a new naval world where scale and autonomy are becoming decisive factors. <laughs>